Hello again. So we have reached exercise five in the hash table assignment. So we need to trace the adding of element to a hash table. So we have multiple elements. So we have these elements. And we have a fixed hash table size of 10. And we have the following hashing function. So h of x is equal to x modulo 10. So we have numbers. We just need to look at the last number. And we need to show for each of the following collision resolution technique the final hash table and after inserting inserting each of the above elements so we'll start with the linear probing so uh, uh, we have an array so the size of the array is equal to 10 so we have index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and we need two cells just one cell not because you have 10 cells so the indices are from 0 to 10 and then we need to add the elements so we have uh, 4, 3, 7, 1. So I need to add it here. So I will pick another color. So let's say I need to pick uh, 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 to place 4, 3, 7, 1. So since uh, the modulo is equal to uh, 1, so I will place it at index 1. And then we have 1, 3, 2, 3. So 1, 3, 2, 3 would go here. 6, 1, 7, 3. So again, it should go here in 3 however 3 is occupied and I'm doing any probing so I will check the next element so at, at the index 4 there is uh, uh, no element here so I will place uh, 6 uh, 1 7 uh, 3 and then uh, what we have we have 4 1 9 9 so at the index 9 there is nothing so 4 1 9 9 and then we have 4, 3, 4, 4. So at the, the index 4, there's uh, an element. So I would place it at the first uh, empty uh, cell. So I, I would place it in index 5. So it's 4, 3, 4, 4. And then we have 9, 6, 7, 9. So the index 9 is occupied. I would place it at the first index. So it's 0 here. So 9, 6, 7, 9. And again, I have one other 9. So I will start from here, I will loop, and then I will find that at index 2 it's empty, and I will place 1989 at index 2. So this is it for the linear probing. Let's move now to the quadratic uh, probing uh, scheme. So again, I will remove all the red here, I will keep the table, and let's add the elements. So first I will add 4371 so at 4371 uh, the, the index 1 is empty so I will place 4371 at index 1 then I have 1323 3, so it's empty and then I will have 6173 so at 6173 3, so the index 3 is occupied so in the quadratic probing I will do uh, plus 1 square so it means I will check the just the uh, next uh, cell which is 4 here so it's empty and I can place 6173 3 and then we have 4199 so it's empty I would place it in it 4344 it's uh, uh, occupied so again uh, this is the first uh, probing so I will do plus 1 square at the index so 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 so 5 is empty and now I can uh, place 4344 then we have 9, 6, 7, 9. So 9 is occupied. So in quadratic, the first time we do plus 1 square. So 9 plus 1 square is equal to 10. 10 modulo 10 is equal to 0. So I can place 9, 6, 7, 9 here. So now the uh, problem is to place 1, 9, 8, uh, 9. So 1, 9, 8, 9, it should, be, it should go to uh, 9, however 9 is occupied, the next position is equal to 9 plus 1 equal 10, 10 plus, uh, modulo 10 is equal to 0, so I will start from 0, the next position is 9 plus uh, 2 uh, to the power 2, so 9 plus 2 power 2 is equal 9 plus 4 is equal to 13 so we'll do modulo 10 so the remainder of uh, 13 modulo 10 is equal to 3 so i cannot place it because 3 is occupied so uh, we will do 9 plus 3 modulo uh, to the power 2 it's equal 9 plus 9 which is equal to 18 18 modulo 10 is equal to 8 8 is empty so now i can place 1989 there so I, I would place 1989 and this is it for the quadratic probing so next we have the separate chaining so we need to do the insertion outside the uh, uh, array so they are telling us to please to insert the element at the end of each linked list so what i will do is that i will draw another array 
So we have here the array. So we have the index 0, index 1, index 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And uh, we have all here. Uh, we have a null pointer. So I will just draw it like that. However, we have, so let's draw it like that. It's all null pointers because they will point to a linked list. And then we need to add 4371. So 4371, I would I should add it to the linked list uh, pointed at index uh, 1. So I will create a linked list here. And I would place 4371 and a null pointer here. Then we have 1323. So I should create a linked list here. I will create a node. 1323 and the next uh, pointer is null. Then we have 6173, so I will link it here. Oh, oh, 6173, so at the end of the linked list. 4199, 4199, and then we have 4344, it's here. 4344, and a null pointer. Then we have 9679, so it should go here. 9679, null pointer, and then we have 1989. So it will go here, 1989, and this is it for the solution. So if you have any questions, you just need to review the uh, course, the lecture, and uh, thanks for watching.